A simple water infiltration test is a way to determine the health of your soil and how you should be managing your land. Members of the South Dakota National Resource Conservation Service explain a water infiltration test during the 2012 South Dakota Grazing School in September. You know, we keep talking about this infiltration and infiltration rings and things that we do, and, and this is just a piece of irrigation pipe at six inches. Uh, it's actually six inches deep and six inches across. Um, and we drive that into the soil about four inches. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a half a quart, let's say. About an inch. That that's faster than digging a hole. 444 uh, mils of water. I'm just going to put that on here. Um, does somebody want to time this for me, please? Okay, go. You see, we're infiltrating an inch of water here, and and I guess my point here is, you just saw how long it took me to drive that ring in, and we're going to infiltrate an inch of water, and this is one of the the measures that we think um, we can actually look at uh, very quickly and start to ascertain something about soil health very quickly on your uh, different pastures. And what do I mean by that? Is is that we'll get over here and we'll start talking for for the most part, but I've been out on sites where. Uh, you, you saw that I, I put the water on it stood up and it was gone. I'd say that's a really good one. Now, look at the pasture that we have here. Think about where I am, right along the edge of the fence, and what kind of soil characteristics might I be running into. Now, I still have water sitting in this thing, right? You get a rain on this, what happens? It's going to go down the hill. I mean, just that fast not going in the soil at all, right? So based on the management that you actually have, and as dry as it's been, it's still not going in. So what do we have? We've got compacted situations. We've got situations where, where the plant community has been skewed to the point where we don't have <laughs> macro pore <laughs> development. And Stan's going to get old sitting over here. That's what he's trying to tell me, I think, before it goes in. Um, in other words, if it takes long enough for you to walk away and come back and try to figure out if the water's going down in this thing, it's probably not a good situation. And you need to change something. I can tell you that right now. So does this have to be one of those, you know, gee, it's just, uh, like I said, I think I'm pounding ring in faster than you can dig a hole. Uh, we can just look at it from the standpoint as if you stand up and the water's gone, that's a good one. And if it's the point where Stan is going to take a nap over here, it's probably not such a good deal. Well, I don't know if I really want to stick around and wait for this one to go in. That's the first inch, but this one we put an inch on yesterday. So how long do you think that one's going to take? You're going to time that one too, Stan? You got a second? Second? I do. I do. I got this fancy iPhone here. This test may not be an exact simulator of a rain event, but it is a pretty go. good indicator of the health of your soil. In these examples, the first test took five and a half to six minutes to infiltrate, and the second ring, which had one inch of water 24 hours prior to the day of this test, took over an hour to infiltrate a second inch of water. In a second example, on another section of the range, the first inch of water took 40 seconds to infiltrate, and the second inch of water took 1 minute 3 seconds. So the test can vary widely from one section of land to another. Digging a soil profile is another test to determine soil health. It has been said by range specialists that a healthy soil smells really good, like an earthy root cellar, and an unhealthy soil has an unpleasant or stagnant smell. First of all, one of the first things that jumps out at me is, is me is we still have that prismatic structure, but it doesn't go as, as far to the, the, the soil surface, and we have more of a granular and subangular blocky structure that that is further down in the profile. You actually have a, a very granulated structure at, at, at the surface uh, because of that that uh, more extensive root development. Uh, what we're actually seeing is, is darker colors uh, down deeper in the profile, which basically says that we're, we're actually moving more organic matter down deeper in the profile also. Uh, so when we start looking at that soil profile, it can tell you a lot about, um, I believe, it tells you a lot about what, what is the, the management, uh, current management, past management associated with that particular uh, uh, soil out there. It was kind of interesting as, as I just moved back to that example on, 
on uh, the Rasmussen Ranch is that we were actually, we, we went out, we looked at that, that uh, cropland site, we could see where we had actually had the original paw layer, and then when he broke this back out again, they actually ran a uh, noble blade, and you could see where that noble blade had run about two and a half, three inches down again too. Um, and that was only you know, the year before. So again, that management actually is, is uh, very apparent in, in uh, um, what that soil profile looks like. And, and like I say, when, when we start looking at, at uh, uh, the, the, uh, uh, the condition of that soil, um, it, it can't do anything more than, than just be represented by uh, the vegetation also. So. It is important to look at your soil health to determine if you are managing your range properly. Contact your local NRCS office for assistance in monitoring your range land.